You are watching With a Cup of Tea, a production of This House of Books, an independent bookstore cooperative and tea shop in downtown Billings. Now, here's our show. Well, I'm here this evening with John Billings, who has a, a book, uh, Into the Tall and Uncut, Outfitter Tales from Wyoming's Thoroughfare. So, first of all, why don't we just uh, hear a little bit about you. Tell me a little about yourself. Well, um, I grew up here in Billings, hmm. and uh, uh, after high school, had aspirations to uh, go to college and do work in the uh, sciences. Hmm. And that ultimately gra gravitated into uh, getting commissioned as a lieutenant in the artillery. So I wound up going to Europe, got an early promotion, and uh, worked in the artillery as, a, uh, as in fire direction, and solved some of the, helped solve some of the issues with target acquisition that resulted in some uh, upgrading of the, of the uh, process of engaging enemy forces uh, with medium-sized artillery. Mm -hmm. And I think it ultimately, they gave me a meritorious service medal for, the, mm -hmm. for, for good work. And I think we, four of us who worked in the field actually probably did, had some influence in saving the lives of a few of our soldiers. Mm -hmm. uh, that mm -hmm. was not the dream. The dream was to buy a hunting camp in Wyoming and that gravitated into uh, building a business that uh, I was actually able to apply some of the training from the Army training to upgrade the business and solve some big problems. Okay. It was fun. So you became an outfitter after uh, a short career in the Army? Yeah. And then uh, what made you think you wanted to do that? Well, it, it had always been my parents, when I was 16 years old, bought a cabin in the Beartooths. Okay. And, of course, my brother and I growing up in the in the in it, it, the chance to grow up in Billings and then go to the Beartooths and be there in an hour, uh, we wound up spending every spare moment we could at the cabin. So one thing led to another. Okay, you had this experience with the outdoors. But yeah. you were you were in, in Wyoming's thoroughfare, you were not only outdoors, you were in the most remote locations. Your camps were in the most remote locations in the lower 48 states. That's right. I mean, you were not just outdoors, you were way outdoors. Yeah, it was. They were extremely remote, yeah. and uh, the lo the logistics problems uh, encountered to support such ventures were parallel to the uh, problems we solved relative to the artillery, uh -huh. upgrading and streamlining and efficientizing the the uh, the problem, the process of acquisition. Okay. Two different uses of the word acquisition. Yeah. So tell me about the book. Well. Uh, the book is centered on the frontier. Mm -hmm. There are 17 chapters, counting one of one of the the introduction to it, uh, or the preface to it is actually a chapter. It's a full fledged chapter, so there's 17 chapters, mm -hmm. and it's uh, it basically portrays the whole gambit of as I experienced of the frontier, with the exception of the of the big fires that happened in '88. But we're reserving a big portion of the next book for that part. Okay. So other than, other than the fires, this book, I would say, is a reasonably uh, astute uh, cross-sectional analysis of the frontier, as in modern day, the, over the last, from the last 40 years. Well, that, that's about right, I think. If there's any place that's frontier left, it would be this location you were, you were sure. in. So sure. you were guiding hunters in? Yeah. And, uh, and getting them out safely? Well... Absolutely, and yeah. we were we were really lucky because I took about 1,100 clients in 25 years, and never did we have anyone really seriously injured. We had a, okay. we had a few injuries, really minor, uh, statistically. We had only had one guy really badly hurt, but we got him medevaced, and he came through just fine. But in 25 years, we had no casualties. A good record. We were really lucky. What? It occurs to me, there's a question I might ask you here. Um, this is real wilderness. Now, do you, do you have any feelings about the wilderness? I mean, is wilderness important? Oh, it, it certainly is. I think it's endemic to the, 
to the development of America, to the, the wilderness and the frontier was what built America. What, what we have now is an inclination to get away from that. Our culture has somewhat died in that regard over the last two generations, maybe three generations. It's absolutely essential. And President Trump has said so repeatedly that we need to get back to what built America to make this country great again. Well, I know in, in a uh, location like this, uh, you know, it's a, it's a place where you really can't make mistakes. Yes. Uh, you know, in normal life, you can make all kinds of mistakes and recover, and in this, you can't necessarily. I think that the, that's a very good point, insofar that you don't have Walmart down the street from your, from your camp. Yeah. So you've got to get it right. Uh, there's a little bit of latitude in some of this, but you, you basically got to get it right the first time. That's right. And, and the consequences of, you know, of, of being out of, out of ketchup for the cook tent are, mm -hmm. are not so bad. So you got a little latitude, but if you don't have shoes on your horses, yeah. well, and you're on granite and you're on bad rock while well, about two days and your horses are soared up, uh, that's one that you probably should have gotten right the first time. Yeah. <laughs> or you're stranded. <laughs> or you're stranded. <laughs> so who do, you, who do you figure would like this book? Who's going to buy it? Well, I think... I, I just want to say, you had a wildly successful presentation here tonight. I mean, people, the audience really loved it. They loved hearing the stories, and it was just really terrific. So, but who well, do you think you. would buy it? I, I, think, I think anybody that wondered about the frontier, they maybe have heard adventures, they, maybe they read a little bit in, in grade school, high school, <clears throat> historical uh, s stories, maybe... Daniel Boone, Davy Crockett, the, the, the wilderness, you know, uh, culture, mm -hmm. uh, Jim Bridger, and et cetera, and were even curious mm -hmm. and wanted to find out what it was like for those guys. Uh, you're kind of your own grandfather in this business, and so if somebody wants to reacquaint with what their grandfather did, uh, perhaps he did something in the, in the old days, in the 1930s, 1920s, 30s, 40s, uh, relative to the mountains, the out of doors. But uh, I think anybody who, I think the mountains build character. I think parents would be really proud to have their children building character by going to the mountains and, and getting some training. Uh, the, you know, and it isn't so much, I don't think it's very much that the people, the humans, the outfitters, we don't train anybody. What really does the training are the mountains themselves. Just get out there and start making efforts. You'll make mistakes and, and if you're in the right frame of mind, you'll learn from those mistakes. And pretty soon you get better year after year. Pretty soon you're a pro. Okay. I'm going to ask one more question. You're a member of the bookstore. Yes. Why, why are you a member? Well, that's pretty straightforward. Uh, the, the, my, my motive for being a member of the bookstore was to have a chance to acquaint with good folks who love books, who like intellectual pursuit, who enjoy reading, uh, exchange. We had a great exchange tonight with mm -hmm. good, really some nice questions, yeah. and uh, hopefully the answers were up to standard with the questions. Mm -hmm. Uh, I think uh, just a nice group of folks, and they, I think they loved it. I, I, like, I like the chance to exchange ideas. I think if we don't exchange ideas, we're kind of dead as a, as a culture. The, the exchange of ideas and the, the, the chance and the ability to interconnect notions and ideas and theories and, and basically build something new out of, out of the elements is really the challenge and that's where it's at. That's okay. why I joined the co-op. And we have a we have a forum for doing that. So yeah. exchange of ideas. Yeah. Well thanks, Jeff. Well sure thank you. It. Thank you very much for having me and I I really enjoyed your group. It was a, a tremendous group tonight. This has been a production of This House of Books. If you'd like to be a part of the cooperative, please visit thishouseofbooks.com slash get involved.